Probably the most explosive and creative surfer in the world right now is Kong Elkerton. Kong has the most incredible drive that pushes him to go for the impossible maneuver, and more often than not, he pulls it off. Late this year, Kong won his first A-rated pro event, which took place at Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. This is noteworthy because Kong got his name from destroying large, powerful waves, and his victory in small East Coast surf silenced the critics who claimed he wouldn't be able to conform his style to a smaller format. Perhaps America, too, now has an animal of its own, and he goes by the name Brad Gerlach. The week after Kong won back east, Brad pulled off the upset of the year by defeating world champ Tom Carroll in the California Stubbies. His powerful go-for-broke approach is so aggressive that a direct comparison to Kong is inevitable. Even Tom Carroll had to applaud Brad's performance at Oceanside. Although the wind-blown waves were far from ideal, Gerlach's lightning speed milked each ride for maximum points. At only 19, Brad has become the most promising new talent to emerge from California since Tom Curran, and his pro career is just beginning. You could even say that Brad and Kong are like two sand crabs fighting for a chance to become the world champion. Both are extremely confident young surfers, and often Kong doesn't even grab a rail to balance himself in the tube. At home in Australia, Kong has a variety of waves to choose from, and whether it's point surf at Noosa Heads or beach break grinders on the Gold Coast, Kong surfs them all like a champion. Professional surfing seems to be getting more and more standardized every year, so it's great to see surfers like Kong and Brad Gerlach not holding anything back. We need a few animals in surfing, and these two surfers are leading the pack. <laughs>